You ever see those TV game shows, Let's Make a Deal, The Price is Right, where the announcer says, Come on down! You know what the people do? They jump up and down for joy because you can win a big prize. You might win a big prize. So when I say, Come on down, I want you to jump up and down for joy because you might win a big prize. So let's get ready for this TV game show. Welcome to Arizona's newest TV game show, Pick Your Trick, the game show where everyone's a winner, conceived off the streets of Van Buren. Pick Your Trick is fun, Pick Your Trick is exciting, and Pick Your Trick is wild. The rules of Pick Your Trick are simple. The contestant, that's you, have a free selection of one of the three magical illusions that he or she would like to perform with Lee, right here in front of a live audience. And here is the host of Pick Your Trick, Lee Hotz, the Wizard of Fun! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Welcome to Pick Your Trick! <laughs> You're so kind, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Pick Your Trick. Now we have here our... Uh, uh, Pre-selected our audience contestant. Contestant number one, are you ready to play the game? Okay, it's time for you to come on down. The woman down is your enthusiasm. That's the worst I've seen all week. All right, and what's your name? Alex, you're right. My goodness, he's a psychic too. <laughs> Alex, we have here three magic illusions. Now, we don't have time to perform all three of them. We're going to perform only one of these fantastic illusions right in front of this fantastic crowd here at the uh, Fountain Hills Library. Okay, does everyone know how to read over here? Yeah. That's good. If you go to the library, you don't know how to read. It's not as fun. So anyway, we have your three magic illusions that help you decide which one you're going to pick. We're going to give you 30 seconds of music to help you decide. So let's start with music, please. All right. How many people want to pick trick number one? Nobody likes that one. I don't why. How many people want to pick trick number two? How about trick number three? Oh, it's kind of mixed. All right, Alex, have you decided which one you want? You want two? All right, we're going to cut it. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a union show. Must allow you to pull 30 seconds. All right, you pick trick number two, you lucky person. But before we show you what's behind trick number two, let's see what you passed up behind trick number one. This is the one you did not pick. You have turned down the famous death-defying card trick of Doom, the world's most dangerous and boring card trick. The magician would have you, the contestant, select a card. The magician would then cause your card to vanish from the deck, and then will magically pull your selected card right from his own pocket. <sighs> playing cards manufactured by Acme Playing Company, Cleveland, Ohio. And now back to you, Money. I'm Lee. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Wrong game show. Back to you, Lee. You want to? You don't want to see a boring card trick, did you? Yeah. Of course not. But if you want to see some really great card tricks, come visit Wizard Magic Shop in Mesa, Arizona. Plug, yeah. plug. <laughs> All right. Now, you have one more decision to make right now. You can stay with your selection of trick number two, or you could trade it in for trick number three. What would you like to do? You're going to keep number two? You're not going to trade it in for trick number three? All right, folks, let's see what was behind trick number three, the one you just turned down. Oh no, you could have selected the car levitation, but you didn't. In this illusion, you would have been placed behind the wheel of a brand new automobile. The magician would cause you and the car to levitate 15 feet in the air. When you return to the stage, you keep the car as a free souvenir just for playing the game. And now back to our host. Oh no, you didn't get the car. Do you have a driver's license? Nope. Car would do no good anyway. So good thing you didn't pick the car. But you'd pick trick number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you what's behind trick number two. We're going to dim the lights a little bit here. A little bit more, please. Perfect. All right, you did not pick trick number one, the boring car trick. You did not pick trick number three, the car levitation. You pick trick number two, and this is your trick. <laughs> it's the newest kitchen aid of the century, the new slice of magic by Ronco Magic Products. It slices, dices, and even makes great coleslaw. Cabbage patch doll not included. You can get a free haircut today. We're going to take this five and a half pound blade. We're going to pass it right through your neck without any harm to the blade. <laughs> Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah. 
I can tell he's really excited about this. He's got tears running down his leg already. <laughs> I hope they're tears. But anyway, you look a little bit nervous there. So that's a mix, because you probably don't see too many of these things around here. It's not an not a everyday household item here. So to make you feel more comfortable, let's have our announcer explain to you a little about the, about this prop. Announcer, please tell us about this. I'll be glad to, Lee. This quality prop is made of the finest hardwood. It is sturdily built to help restrain even the strongest victims. It features an exclusive Nomar finish that repels dust, fingerprints, and for not-so-great magicians, even blood. This quality prop is manufactured by Ronco Magic Products in Ohum, Arkansas. When you see Ronco Magic, you know it's quality. Okay, so what I want you to do is come down over here, kneel right down over here, place your neck right over here, and get, get your free haircut. Oh no, look at that. A piece broke off. Hopefully that wasn't important. All right. One size, almost fits all. Now there's nothing to worry about, folks. This trick actually has a warranty on it. guaranteed to work eight out of 10 times. Last eight shows work wonderful. All right. There we go. Comfy? And what we're going to do, oh, wait a minute here. Uh, I'm going you're a little bit nervous about this blade, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Let's have our announce explain to us a little bit about this blade. This quality blade has contoured edges for comfort. And it comes in decorator colors to match any room. And the blade features that famous Ginsu cutting edge. It can even double as a musical instrument. Play classic tunes such as You're Such a Cut Up or that popular hit I Fell in Love the First Time I Saw in Her. Another quality product from Ronco Magic Products. And now, back to you, Lee. Okay, now what we're going to do, now last time I did a trick to hit bounce the audience into someone's lap. So if it bounces your lap, just toss it right up. You know what, here, we've got a bucket, we can catch it. And what we're going to do here, is we're going to put this right down here. There we go. You all set there? You see that? Okay. So what we're going to attempt to do, ladies and gentlemen, is our victim, I mean, our volunteer, is going to witness the first three-dimensional optical illusion. You see this bucket down here? Okay, in a few moments, that bucket's gonna be uh, uh, rushing towards your face. Just remember, it's only an illusion, okay? Okay, hold your hands right down here by the scratch marks. There we go. And uh, you gotta be very careful that you don't move as I push the blade through your neck. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I had a kid move at the very last second, and I accidentally, and then I felt really bad about it. I accidentally cut off his ears. Oh. oh, I felt bad about it. I told the kid I was sorry. But I don't think he hurt me. Okay, here we go. You what? You have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> now? Oh, wait a minute. Let me put this behind you. I can tell how. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, I broke my finger now. Look at that. I know my... how, how do you feel? He feels bad. Let's have a round of applause for our brave volunteer. All right, so we're stuck. How do you like your new necklace? 